Hi, my name is Johan Falk, I live in Stockholm, Sweden, Scandinavia. Uh, this is a, a quick screencast where I talk about something called Bundle Inherit. Let's see here, Bundle Inherit. It's a module, Drupal module, that allows you to uh, inherit settings or and fields uh, between bundles. Uh, so let's see if I can explain this in a nice way. Let's have a look at this. Uh, well, let's actually show you by going to my site here. <clears throat> I have created a content type that I call resource base, which I, which has uh, some fields here, and uh, I can add a new content type that is some kind of resource. Let's call it some kind of resource, because I want to have many, many different kinds of resources on this site, <clears throat> and I want all of these content types to have the fields, uh, well, share some fields. And I can now use a bundle inherit suite module. I didn't do it just to make sure, uh, be clear about that. It's uh, this Lemark guy. Uh, I can inherit fields from resource base, and I'm going to do a strict inherit, which means if I change the, the parent here, this content type will change as well. And if I save and uh, add fields here now, you'll see I have some fields added already uh, to to this content type, and that's kind of nice and I can then add more fields, work with these. I cannot, as this is a strict inherit, uh, change these fields now. These are changed on the parent uh, content type. Okay, uh, so there is an issue in the issue queue for this mod module saying, can I create views on inherited content types? You might want to list only things that are inherited, like listing all the resources on uh, your your site. That's something I would like to do. And th this inheritance thing is not something that's easily accessible in views uh, or for other parts of Drupal. So uh, I created a patch that allows this. Yay! And I'm going to show you just now how it works. And type, let's call it resource list. Let's list a constant of type all. Very nice, let's actually include 20 here, continue and edit. <clears throat> Here's the standard, let's show fields here actually. Perfect, let's make this a table. I could have done this in the quick wizard, but I didn't, sorry about that. Okay, here's a list of the content I have on the site. Uh, and I can now add a relationship to bundle inherit parent content type. This, wor this works for nodes only right now. This is node specific. Let's call it parent content type. Nice. Apply. And now with this relationship added, I can add a new field here, for example, saying bundle inherit parent content type. Add. Apply. And I can, I can now see these two uh, pieces of content have the parent content type resource base. That's kind of useful. And even more useful is if I filter now, bundle inherit on parent content type is one of resource base, apply. Now only resources are displayed. And someone else might come along to this site, add new uh, content types that are resources, inherit from the base resource content type, and then they will be included in the list as well. Hallelujah, or something. Uh, there is one more thing I want to show you. Let's uh, generate some content. If I create now uh, some kind of resource, interesting. Just say 15 of these, generate. Great. Let's add, let's add a field telling me what content type this is. <clears throat> the actual node you are looking at. Great. Uh, okay, here are these. Uh, and you can see I don't have any uh, resource base uh, content types here. Uh, I could, if I wanted to include uh, resource base content, uh, I'm using this as some kind of abstract class or something, so I don't have that on my site. But if I did, I could do something like this. <clears throat> Type uh, resource base 
add and then start doing and and or stuff create new filter group and let's actually uh, do this it should be published and it should be either a re base resource or it has a parent that is a base resource and here it is so you have now this has a resource base as a parent this one doesn't but it's a resource base itself things like that okay um that's it i hope you find this astonishing if you do, uh, feel free to uh, post in this um, issue queue and say, tell this Lamarck guy that uh, this module is appreciated. The issue for this is uh, 1437.454 and it's dependent on a patch uh, that has issue number 1701.566. I'm uh, posting links to this in, in the YouTube comments, so yeah, you can follow that. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, good luck, have fun, see you around. Uh, 